Hey guys, I'm Rafi from Aratab. Aratab in French means that you cannot miss it, and it's a blog about giving all the tips that prevent you from missing your recipe. So meringue really need such recipe because there's a lot of small details that are really important. You will need 100 grams of egg whites, 100 grams of caster sugar, 100 grams of icing sugar. You can add any color or, or essence you want and you will need a piping bag. We're gonna start to put 100 grams of the egg whites in the robot or you can have a robot like this one or a hand robot and you're gonna start to, um, to whisk slowly. This is the first signal. You don't, you does not have any egg whites liquid anymore. Everything is a mousse and the whisk is leaving some track some tracks behind, you can see it. This is the first signal, you're gonna add 50 grams of castor sugar, not 100, only 50. And then you can speed up a bit. This is the signal, the second signal, after approximately five minutes, you're gonna have this shape, so you have to control, you can stop and control. You see you have dense, dense egg whites, a very, very large and very short, so it means dense. You're gonna slow down a bit the robot while adding the, the 50 more grams of caster sugar. And then after one minute and a half or two minutes, you're gonna have the third signal, which means that the density of the egg whites is even higher. And you can see it now, how it's twisted. This twist is really something that you can observe easily, and it shows you that it's ready now to add the castor sugar, 100 grams. And now something gonna happen. You're gonna slow down the robot to add, to add the icing sugar to prevent you from putting a lot of sugar in the room. And everything which is around the whisk, you see, you see, you see, you're gonna leave the whisk and go back in the bowl. Now I'm gonna stop. Ah, it's empty. So we have a completely different meringue, very dense. And what, once you are at this, this stage, you're gonna add three and, or four more minutes of whisking. Don't worry about whisking too much, it doesn't break anything. Uh, just to be sure that all sugar is dissolved. I keep, I keep, I keep whisking. Okay, so now I'm adding the color and the essence. The best is to do it before, but I will, for in my case, I need different colors um, to do different desserts, so I, I'm doing it now. When you, when you pour the, the piping bag, pay attention to remove the air properly. It will be easier to pipe uh, when you have some air stuck inside, when you're piping, the air try will go out and explode a bit. So it's gonna break a bit the shape that you are doing. Small tips, not not crucial, but just small tips. So do any shape you want, but now the tip is about the size. Um, the meringue, like this one, this one is very heavy. It has a lot of meringue. This one won't be cooked when the other one will be cooked. So keep on the same track, uh, the same size. Not the same shapes, but the, the same size. Now about cooking. It's 1 hour 90 degrees and 1 hour 85 degrees for the small one. For the big one, it's 1 hour and half or 90 degrees and then 80 degrees. You can open the, the oven anytime to control when it, if it's cooked or not. How are you gonna know it's cooked? You take one, you break it. If it's very if it's completely cooked, it's very hard inside. So now I'm gonna break one for you to show you. So the color is still a, a very nice purple, very shiny. You can see the, the light on it, and you can hear this. Elle va vraiment se casser, tu vois, c'est dur à l'intérieur là.
So this is it. Now it's time to try yourself.